sensor and it's actually this one here that uh has that so i'm just going to take it off just to inspect it maybe get a part number take the phillips head screw off it's really rusted on now at the top Oh, there we go. Here's this. Okay, so here is that part right here. So I just wanted to take it apart and show you guys like the inside of it. I'm not exactly sure what's inside here, what to expect, but uh, I don't know. Let's open it up and see. All right, so I took all the little clips off and you can see you have to pull the little tabs up and all that. So um, let's go ahead and take this off. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. We have a circuit board here with some chips and hmm. oh, the bottom part comes off too. All right. So we have the bottom part here. This may be the original one with my car from 2001. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. I, don't, I wonder why it's not working correctly. Hmm. So let's flip it over to the other side. Um, oh, 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 okay, now I see. All right, there's some copper um, burning or molting or whatever right there. So that's probably one of the problems. Um, let's see, and that looks like that's connected to something here. So that's probably why I'm having that problem where it's malfunctioning. Okay, so it looks like this sensor here, it picks up the, um, but I think it does multiple things. It picks up temperature, number one. I think it's the main thing. And it also picks up like pollutants and things like that. So I'm not sure if like a voltage goes through here through the temperature. And I guess this may be the smog right here. I have no idea. Because um, there's very little information on this. But I can definitely tell you that I was having a problem with pressing on the gas pedal with the air conditioning on. It seemed to be a, a lot of hesitation and bumping and uh stuff like that with the engine bucking and stuff and now that i have unplugged this it seems to have subsided substantially uh, i've noticed that my mirrors have been on heated um for months now and i if you saw my other video um the mirrors have now pretty much um uh deteriorated in the inside so i need to buy another one but once i unplug that uh unplug this unit right here the mirrors are off now so i think it has a lot to do with temperatures um you know uh, recognizing what the temperature is outside and uh, a few other things that the ecu may be relying on information from this so this is just not uh sucking up pollutants to put on the circulator I